Good morning and welcome to this edition of Portsmouth Waters Commercial News Desk. I'm John Pickford. Today we're going to look at some new exciting initiatives we've been working on from right across the business. We'll be hearing from customer services on a new data sharing initiative with Southern Water, from water resources and environment on our plans to grow solar power. I'll be telling you a little about our new relationship with HomeServe, but first a report from our new ACE reporter Mary Horstead coming to you live from Networks, reporting on a new asset delivery portal, Line Search Before You Dig. Hello, Mary. Can you hear me? Hello, John. This is Mary reporting in Network. We're in the early stages of our business relationship with Line Search Before You Dig, which began in April of this year. But already we've provided over 2,600 data requests for more than 390 newly registered clients using the online portal. To put this into perspective, prior to our engagement with Line Search, our average number of data requests per year was 2,500. So you can imagine seeing such high numbers in the first two months is really encouraging. For us, this is fantastic for a number of reasons. The online system is user-friendly and therefore more efficient. The user receives their response instantly, whereas previously we would have taken up to 10 days to provide data. We have an escalation process, so we are alerted if a user is planning to dig near to one of our trunk mains. We hope to reduce the number of asset strikes and, of course, ultimately an increase in revenue for the business. Big thanks to my team for their patience. Uh, thank you also to Diane and Phil and to Roxy for helping me manage the online portal. Thank you, guys. Take care. John, back to you in the studio. That report was from Mary Halstead. Networks correspondent. Now over to customer services where Jarrett Davis is ready and waiting to talk to us about property searches. Hi Jarrett, can you hear me? Hello John, this is Jarrett Davis reporting from customer services. We started working with Southern back in January. We now provide data for property searches that are commissioned and paid for by the buyer who want to make an informed decision about the property they are buying with no nasty surprises. We answer questions on whether or not you're connected to the mains network at risk of low water pressure, if you're measured or unmeasured, or whether or not there's any ports of water assets in the boundary of the property. This data, along with an asset map, is requested on a property by property basis by Southern Water, sent to them securely, and then bundled up with a data on sewerage and sent to the buyer as a single property report. We compile this data using GIS and RAPID. Searches must be responded to quickly and accurately. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jarrett. Jarrett Davis there reporting from Customer Services. In other news, Portsmouth Water has just signed a partnership agreement with HomeServe, making us the 14th water company in England and Wales to enter such an agreement. We've already started offering our household customers discounted plumbing and drainage policies, with nearly 700 already signed up. We will continue to grow the customer base over the next five years, and by the end of Amp 7, we hope to have over 20,000 customers. Now, over live to Farlington Water Treatment Works for an update from Jim Barker. Hello and good morning, Jim. Are you there? Thank you, John. Thank you. This is Jim Barker reporting from Farlington. I, Jim Barker, I'm Head of Water Resources. I also have the Environment Remit under me. What I'm doing on the site this morning is looking at whether or not we can increase our solar arrays we have on our sites to reduce our carbon footprint and to protect us from fluctuating fuel prices and energy prices. But what I've got to remember is we've got some beautiful, beautiful nature that lives on our site already. So what we're looking to do is walk the tightrope between putting more solar arrays up and protecting the wildlife we have. Now, John, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jim. Looks like the weather is spectacular at Farlington this morning. Well, time the old enemy has beaten us once again. I've just got time to say thank you very, very much to everybody who has supported these commercial projects and who, whether they know it or not, will also be helping us in a range of other future initiatives. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact me directly. My email address is on the screen below. Thank you all very much for watching. Please stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.